go live and they have like 20 feet above their head. I'm like, why do they do that? All right. Divine timing. Round up. Good evening. Greetings, class. Come on in, everybody. If you got what it takes, I'm Chris Haskins and Clarence, and these are the money making breaks. <laughs> What's going on, Roundup? What's going on, Chris? How you doing, my brother? I am doing wonderful tonight. How are you, sir? Man, I, I'm on top of the world, to be honest with awesome. you. I'm, awesome. I'm on top of the world. On top of the world. Right, you can't hey, too. Con congratulations <laughs> on getting your plaque. 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. YouTube certified now. You wow. know, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Clarence. Uh, you know what, man? I got to tell you, one, eventually I'm going to do a little training on what, what it took me to get here. It's so right. weird. I can say I have done this. I know how to do it. Right. Right. So I get to share with my people how to do this, man, and how to make it all work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I see you got your tie on. I'm going to presume since we are at this time of the year, you've been putting together people's taxes and making sure that the IRS does not audit them and put them in jail. Yes, it is definitely tax season. So favorite time of the year. Uh, that's good for you. Round up. Come on in. My real estate roundup homies. Greetings, class. How you doing? I am Chris Haskins, and my, ministry, my mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship including content creation now tonight we have we're opening up we're opening up for you now you didn't get the super duper early bird because those are all people that came to the workshop but now we still have the super early bird we want to invite you to come hang out with us for the next two months doing short-term rental properties and i learned there's another saying clarence that i just learned today midterm yeah. midterm oh. rentals have you heard of that I haven't heard of, of that described in such way, but I can follow the logic. So when they maybe. say midterm, are they talking maybe 90 day stays? 60, yep. 90. And you know what? I just experienced that. And you've been telling me about that for a while, but we didn't right. classify it as that. Mm -hmm. So I'm here yeah. with my partner in crime, my business associate, my running mate, Clarence Harris. Greetings, yes, sir. Brother. Clarence is a certified oh. public accountant and he does taxes. He does all this craziness. I can barely get him on the phone now. When I call him, he sends me to a voicemail because he's doing all this stuff. And yes, it bothers me, but what do you do? A man got to do what he got to do, right? So. Come on now. <laughs> Round up tonight. Let, let's talk about, we're going to go over, go over all the bullets for this short term rental mastermind. What I'm learning is, I promise you, you are, you are cumulative development of the people you hang around, the people you're in touch with. So I'm in touch with guys like Clarence Harris. I'm in touch with guys like Patrick Bet David, Ron LeGrand, Jay Connor, Dan Barrero. These are the dudes that I have their cell phones. So hence, I get to do like this. And you can watch my career over the last three years. I literally went, my, my career went vertical, right? So I want to put you in the room with uh, people like uh, me and Clarence to help you with your short-term rental, whether you own a property or not. All right. So tonight we're just going to kind of go over what this is going to be about. And it is just an honor for me to bring this to you because I know Airbnb travel, tra let's just say travel, prof traveling medical professionals, doesn't even have to be nurses and vacation. Honestly, rentals. Chris, tra traveling professionals. I, I even like that. I mean, now some folks will, will want to go right to traveling nurses, but honestly, mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've had experience not only with travel nurses, I've traveling contractors mm. that come in the town. Mm. I've had traveling solar panel contractors who booked with me multiple times. Mm. So, um, yeah, there's, you know, if you have an affinity for the, the healthcare profession, which I, which is very understandable, yes, you might want to go right in the route of straight traveling healthcare professionals, traveling nurses, doctors, things mm -hmm. of that nature. But, but, you know, in the times that maybe you have some, some openness in your calendar, mm -hmm. why not open it up to other traveling professionals? 
So don't limit yourself. I like that. Don't limit yourself. Don't limit don't yourself. Limit yourself. Roundup. Don't limit yourself. No, because I'm telling you, I'm not. I know right. Clarence Harris ain't. <laughs> no, sir. So let's get into some huh? No, sir. No, go ahead. I'm with you. Let's get into some of these bullets round up. See, the reason we put this together, I'm gonna tell you. The reason we put this together is because we did a workshop a few weeks back, and I know that people got a lot of that data. But now they might need a little more hand holding just to get that short-term rental property set up. Now, you could do this whether you own a house or not, right? So we're going to show you a couple things tonight. What we're going to be going over in this mastermind, that we're going to meet once a week starting April 11th, and we're going to have a bus tour. So you're going to be able to come in town right to the Hampton Roads area. We're going to take you. Matter of fact, we're coming Friday. We're going to have a dinner at one of the short-term rental properties. And then the next day, we're going to just have a bus tour and go show you exactly what we're doing. There is no theory here. There is no book written. This is live step-by-step how Clarence does this every day. I talk to the man. He gives me direct deposits. I see them coming in, and I I do this as well. well. I I just set up another one a few days ago. So I want to show you this thing, hands hands yeah, hand holding. Go ahead, Clarence. Yeah, and even when you called me today, I was setting up another one, right, Jeff? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> and so it's and as soon as I finish this one, I have another one in Norfolk. I got to go set up. Oh my lord, Clarence, you are my gut. I think I told you earlier. My gut's telling me you're working a lot of time these past few weeks. You know, I'm staying busy, but this it, it's fun. I like doing it. And to be honest with you, now it it gives me a way of artistic expression because I can be very creative and artistic in how I stage each property. So mm-hmm. I'm excited about the new things I'm coming up with. Yeah, it is cool how you're doing that. We we'll, we we'll, won't we'll, we won't get into all that tonight, but right, right. right. <clears throat> so, Clarence, uh, you're going to help our people that are going to come to join the short-term rental mastermind. Talk about your team. I know you've got this team that you kind of, uh, you mentioned. And when you come onto the yeah. mastermind, y'all are gonna, you're going to get the full short-term rental training. It's four hours of training that you get before you even show up for the mastermind. Yeah. Yeah. And so in terms of the team, well, I kind of look at it in general business thing and, and being in the short-term rental business. So with in general business, I always tell business owners, business startups, you need to have your CLIMB team. CLIMB team is an acronym, C-L-I-M-B. These are the core team of advisors that you want to have on your team. So you want to have your CPA. You want to have your lawyer, your insurance professional to help you with risk mitigation, your marketing professional, and your banker. And of course, there are other advisors outside of that. And us being in the short term rental space, you need other team members as well, such as, you know, your mentors, you know, experienced hosts like ourselves, um, contractors, handymen, your cleaning professionals. That is a critical Mm. part of this business. Um, And there are other there are other vendors and, and collaborators that you want to have in place as well. So, um, you know, I have relationships with furniture providers, mm. pest control, lawn care. It's wow. You want to build those relationships and that's what's going to help you to be able to scale the business. Go from, you know, I know a lot of folks, we want to get to just our first property, which, hey, we are going to help you get to your first property. Come, you know, come join us eight week eight week course we're going to help you get to your first property but after we get to one and you see that it's real that you can do it now let's get to the second third fifth tenth property Mm. and so and part of getting to that is having the right team in place i love it i love it that's cool so clarence being a cpa I know you talked about setting up your business properly. Are you going to kind of cover that stuff or or tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, again, my background, I'm a CPA. I think numbers. And then, of course, um, I've been trained in business administration and some of the legalities. So there's certain things you need to do when you are setting up your business, whether you own that business by yourself or you have other partners, you know, there's entity structures you might want to consider, you know, mm-hmm. 
There's different entity options, sole proprietor, general partnership, limited liability company, corporation, depending on what your, your goals are in the business, how many partners you want, are you trying to raise money, um, your exit strategies, all of those will play a factor into which entity structure should I have. So mm -hmm. we'll be we'll touch on we'll touch on those things. We'll touch on you know how to where to go to get your business license, where to go to find out the different permits and zonings related to where you want to do your short term rental business at. So we'll talk about a lot of these things, sweet. you know, over the eight weeks. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Let me ask you, Clarence, um, talking to landlords now, I know we had a meeting today with another one of our, another one of our clients uh, dealing with other landlords. Mm -hmm. Is that is, is that an art form, a skill? Tell me a little bit of how you approach that. And first of all, before we talk about that, let's mm -hmm. go into something that my rounded up homies may not understand because a lot of us think we got to own a piece of property to, to do this. So Airbnb arbitrage, quickly give us what is that? Yeah, so arbitrage, rental arbitrage is basically when you rent a property from a property owner and then in our business, we furnish that property and we rent it out on a short term basis for a higher margin. And that arbitrage, that middle point, that gap, you know, we could pay a thousand dollars for a property. We rent it out for three thousand. That two thousand dollars. That's our profit for operating the business, for example. Actual results may vary. Well, here's the thing, Clarence. This was not possible until recently. You know, when I started back in 2004, won't know short-term rentals. I mean, it was exclusively for certain major corporations, but it just wasn't po possible right. until recently. Right, right. Well, you know, with some of the, the companies such as Airbnb, VRBO, who you know, giving us the power to have an app right on our phone, <laughs> we can make money utilizing apps like that or a furnished finder, you know, it, it gives us, it's, it's given us a lot of leverage. So. All right. So arbitrage, we rent the property from a landlord. Then we sublease it out to a short term or midterm tenant. Absolutely. And the reason that that works is, you know, you'll have land property owners who, for whatever reason, they don't want to be involved as much in a short term space. I they may not know how to do it. But so, right. So either they don't know how to do it. They maybe they do have some idea, but they just don't want to do it. They want to be very passive in nature. So you have an opportunity to add value where both you and the property owner can make money together. And so, um, and you're able to market the property at a higher rate because it's fully furnished. You have everything included. It's the difference between going to your local grocery store and buying food that you have to prepare versus mm -hmm. going to the restaurant where the meal is already prepared for you. You're going to pay more money for our already prepared meal. Same same thing applies when we're talking about rentals of I love property. It. I love it. Already prepared, ready to go. And yeah. I don't want my rounded up homies to think that they have to have it all figured out. Because I tell you, I'm the I'm like I won't say I'm the master, but I'm trying to turn myself into this person that I don't know it all. I don't have it all figured out. I don't have all my properties ready. Even when I'm at Clarence, I'm like I have no idea what I'm doing. Zero. And I followed your lead, worked out. We listed a house the other day, completely empty. No furniture. I had no idea what I was doing. We're, 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 but we're trying things and seeing how it works. And then we're able to share with you how this stuff can actually create income. Uh, Clarence, do they have to have it all figured out to get started in this short-term rental thing? No, you don't have to have it all figured out. However, when you can bridge the gap, if you will, by getting mentors, partnering with folks who've been there, who've done it. So that can expedite your learning curve. So so I would all, always recommend, hey, you know, if there's someone that is knowledgeable, 
how do you get that knowledge from them so yes. you can speed yes. up the process speed it up speed it up so yes, round sir. up tonight we're opening up our short term rental mastermind if you've never been in a mastermind you have to read napoleon hill's book don't sleep on the mastermind i'm telling y'all man this is where the magic happens you're around you're networking the magic is inside eight weeks training we're doing strategy sessions every week and it includes a one property bus tour as well as the day before when you come in town we're going to have a catered dinner to all the mastermind members you're going to be able to hang out with clarence and i inside of a short-term rental property get registered the super early bird special will end tonight right now it's a certain price after tonight it will go up why because yeah I and know. i think and, and we're going to be visiting a few pro different properties I, tell them about the bus tour clarify, Clarence, hit it. go ahead yeah yes yeah. so on a bus tour so we're gonna we're gonna visit at least at least three or four different properties on that Minimum. day Minimum. so you can just see the difference in how we set up different properties um and, and and i'm gonna tell you roundup here's the thing once you get in and you see it if you have not seen it before once you get in i'm gonna tell you you're probably gonna say wow i can do this and that's mm. what we want you to to look at hey i can do this so let's I get it do done that. that's big yeah what makes yours different clarence i know when i walk into yours it just has a different sensibility your properties <laughs> You know what? I think the thing about about this business is you can incorporate some of your own creativity with it. And, and I'm going to tell you, I wasn't as creative in the beginning, you know, on the first and second house as I am once I'm in the double digits in properties that I have. So now I'm, I'm trying to think of something cre very creative for every different type of property now. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe that's my artistic background. You know, as you know, Chris, I have a musical background, play various. That's true. So, that's true. So I'm all I'm always in that creative art mind. So I try to incorporate that into the business as well. No doubt. So, um, and another thing that that I think people are going to get value out of this, you know, as we go through the eight weeks and, you know, we want you to go up, find some properties. And as you get some pro prospects prospects bring those prospects to the table and let's run numbers on them you know mm -hmm. me a cpa my background is loving the numbers so uh, you need help analyzing the deal doing seeing how profitable it <coughs> is we'll be able to we'll be there to be able to assist you with that to say to see hey is this a good use of my resources is it not Mm -hmm. gauge how much we can expect to make on these properties well what i like about the arbitrage part when you rent out a property from a landlord is i, I think people miss the mark here when they they say well you're only making x amount of dollars a month let's say you make 500 bucks a month but you never had to finance that property you never had to put up credit you never had to go to the bank you never had to go in debt and let's say you you put seven thousand to stage it Right. You know, I'm trying to pull my people over to a business mindset. When I buy a property, well, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go. let's even go with that simple assumption. You put seven thousand dollars in this property, mm -hmm. and it's going to spit you a open cash flow of five hundred dollars. These are very let's just say five hundred. Yeah, real modest. Yeah, yeah. That's very very modest. <laughs> um, five hundred dollars a month over the span of twelve months. What is that? Six thousand dollars a year. Six grand. You put seven in, you get six thousand over a year. Mm -hmm. what was that ninety something percent return on your money? Yeah, almost a hundred percent return on your money in one year. Within thirteen months, you got all your money back. Mm -hmm. The return on investment. If you go to your bank and you look at what they're paying you, whether in your CD savings account. I doubt it's one to two percent. Yeah. We're talking about 90% on that That's modest crazy. number that you just put out. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's what very it? realistic. It's Chris, here's the thing. It's very realistic to get properties that will spit out over a hundred percent return on your money. Mm -hmm. Return on investment, everybody. The cash flow in a year divided by what you had to shell out in terms of your cash. That's how you calculate your return on investment.
Was say that again, Clarence. From my, say that again annual, for my homies that didn't get it. Yep. Return on investment. Annual cash flow divided by the dollar amount of the investment I had to put up. Wow. So in this case, using Chris's modest example, $6,000 annual cash flow divided by a $7,000 investment. That's great money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Well, I, I just want to frame it up because people, look, when, when I did I did a video about this, somebody's saying, well, man, you want to make X amount of dollars. You got to think about it. Most people put out 100 plus to make, let's just say they make 4000 a year or whatever. It takes you 10 to 15 to almost 20 years to get your money back you know what you got out no 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 doubt you 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 leveraged it and you got a loan but still the money i mean it i think we need to frame it up okay, so people can understand which we're doing now you know you putting out let's just say you even put out ten thousand you're gonna get that right. money back quickly so it's all profit after a certain time absolutely or another another way we can measure it is what is your payback period Payback. How long does it take to recoup my initial investment to where everything else after that is profit? So, in mm -hmm. your example, um, the payback period is 13 months. Mm. That's deep, man. Based on making $500 a month, which is modest. Yeah, that is, yeah. Generally speaking, you'll make much more than that. So round up when you come on to the short term rental mastermind, the link is in the video description below. OK, you're going to get the short term rental training. That's four hours of content. So before, so you'll get to you'll learn how to set all that stud up, stuff up before we have our first meeting on April 11th. This thing starts April 11th. You're going to you're going to get access to the private Facebook where all of us are going to be in there. We're setting that up right now. And uh, not only the bus tour, you're going to go to visit all the clearances and my properties and the catered dinner for that night. Eight weeks of training so we can help. Sometimes I say push you, but we want to pull you because we're here. We want to pull you over, right? Get you into getting some passive income without even owning the property. I got some other surprises on Friday, too. I'm sure you got. I, I, no doubt I figured you had some stuff you're cooking. I got some other surprises for Friday. So we are going to have a blast. So. You know, I like to not only we're going to educate, network with one another and grow our wealth, but we're going to have a fun time doing it. So that's what I like. Me, it, it's going to be a blast. <laughs> take it. And so you got Roundup. I'm giving all the people that take action right now because I love you. You're going to get 500 bucks off. Uh, this will go up tonight. Right, it will go up tonight. You're gonna get this. All the homies, there are several people that are already in this, right? They joined during the workshop that we had, which which is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get that full training. But tonight, I love rewarding action takers. I love hanging out with people that like, boom take action because I'm the same way. I already spent three grand on my training next month. I'm going to several different conferences, but I want to be around people that are not scared to say, "Listen, boom, I see the value, I see the networking." I see the opportunity for me to grow. Let's do it. Clarence, yeah. tell me about hanging around those type of people. We were talking about well, that briefly before we came on. Yeah, yeah. Well, here, here's the thing. Iron sharpens iron. And there is a motto, and I know, I know you're aware of it. They say that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So... That's that's something you got to be very mindful of. Or that's right. Here's another thing. Somebody somebody might say, "Well, how do I how do I get in the short term rental business?" One way could be go hang around people who are doing it. <laughs> yes, that's the best way for me. <laughs> I'm serious. If you want to learn how to get in the short term rental business, hang around other people who are successfully doing it. Mm -hmm. that's the more deep. time you spend with them. The conversations are going to be geared toward that, and you're going to find out that you are doing that more. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, Chris, before you, um, I know you weren't, let me ask you, I'll let you clarify. How active in the short term rental business were you prior to me and you meeting up? I had one. You had one. I had okay. One. And now you've, you got a few more. Yeah, and, one, and two, still three. growing. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Some growing now. Okay, yeah. Working so, with you, partnered up. Right. 
So my influence, because that's what I do, has rubbed off. And myself, I wasn't on YouTube as much. I wasn't in the internet world as much, but that's what you do. And because we're hanging around each other, our influences are rubbing off on each other. I love it. That's the stuff you can't buy. Well, you can't buy if you join uh, um, if you join certain groups like this one. But I think it doesn't get talked about enough, Clarence. It's you know, it's, it's just so deep. I might call you. You say got an idea. Matter of fact, you you have invited me to join other organizations. I'm speaking right. at some of your stuff. You're speaking at my stuff. It's quite cool, you up. So I want to invite you, Roundup. Um, this is your invitation. Vote yourself in. Why not take action right now? You're going to save a boatload of money. The price will go up tonight at midnight. I'm telling you right now because I enjoy action takers. I love being around people. It's nothing like being around people. Even the one we talked to today, Clarence, we had a meeting with another lady where we're trying to help her scale her short-term right. rental business. You're going to get the training, four hours of short-term rental training, how to set up your operation, all that stuff, the bus tour, catered dinner with Clarence and I and the other team, Facebook, private group. All the docs. Tell them about your analyzer, Clarence, that they're going to get along with that. I know you put that. Clarence has this brain that he has these little numbers and he puts all together. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, as a part of this, you'll get get my property analyzer that I use to measure profitability on all of the deals. So it has seasonality in it. So, you know, it'll tell you, hey, here's my gross rental revenue. Mm -hmm. You can plug in you know, what your utilities and, and your rent is going to be. And it's going to spit out, hey, every month of the year, this is my profit prediction. And you need to have you need to have that because you need to be able to analyze, hey, is this a good deal based on what I have to pay in rent? Or if I got put a mortgage on the property, is this going to be a good deal? Is it going to provide me the cash flow? Is it going to provide me the return on investment? And it actually has a section it calculates return on investment as well. So they definitely, you'll definitely be able to utilize that. And, and as we're going through these eight weeks, you know, again, if you have your properties, you have a potential deal, we can talk about it right then. We can run the numbers right then, get a second set of eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what, that's what we're here for. Yep. So round up, get signed up. The link is in the video description. The super early bird special ends today. We're trying to pull you over to getting your short term rental business set up. There's nothing like this cash flow. I, we're doing one now. We're, we're, we're going to we're going to do 10 grand in two months. Right. So uh, that's just one one property. The Clarence has a whole ton of these things. Are you seeing it pick up now, Clarence, as the weather starting to break? How, what, what is your yes. what is your Yes, yes. You see, I said that with a lot of excitement. I see you smiling. Yeah, you're. Because <laughs> the cold months aren't as happy, but you know, but you know, we know that going in. There, there's seasonality in this business. And, mm -hmm. You know, simply put, um, the warmer months you're going to make more money. The super cold months you're not going to make as much. But Just again, fine. going back to that property analyzer, you'll be able to predict what each of your months are going to look like mm -hmm. because we do have that seasonality factor that's baked into that. But overall, over the course of 12 months, this is an exciting business to be in. What about, uh, let me ask you, Clarence, and I'm, you know, we, we've had 30 minutes here. I'll round up, if you get any questions, please put them in the chat for Clarence and I to talk about your short-term rental business. We're not just here selling this stuff. You know, I'm always trying to give value. Talking about staging, Clarence, should one just kind of wing it or should we have a checklist on what stuff costs or a ballpark around the country? Tell me about that, <clears throat> what it goes into these um, things. Yeah, yeah, there you should have a checklist. Um, I wouldn't just say wing it. <laughs> you should have a checklist and we actually provide staging staging budget estimates for, you know, whether you got two bed, two bedroom, one bath three bedroom, one bath, four bedroom, two bath. So we give you a few different examples so you can kind of see what's the budget like based on what size of property, how many bed, bathroom makeups that you have. Um, and, and again, when you have that, your, your taste, your specific taste may be a little more expensive or they could be less expensive than 
you know, what we provide, but it gives you a starting point, Mm -hmm. you know, so you have some sort of expectation. Well, I like your thing regarding the staging, the word you're using now. Thank you, by the way, for that. Mm -hmm. It goes over everything. TVs, couches, linens, um, stuff in the kitchen, whatever that is. Right. Uh, Towel. I mean, you know, it just got everything. So I don't have to actually remember. I, I can't stand trying to remember stuff. So I go to that. All right. How many TVs we need? Boom. How many beds we need? And that that you gave me a suggestion on the last one, two kings. Sometimes you can even do more than one king in a, in a, in a property. King bed. Right. Right. Well, actually, I have a property in Hamden. I have a king bed. The room is it's a humongous primary room. So I have a king bed along with a twin over full bunk pad. Wow. Yeah, that's, and that's popular. And this is one of our more, more popular properties because it has a lot of elbow room and folks can you can put a lot of people put a lot of people on that property. Tell me about this thing. You mentioned something called a sleeping station. I know most people well, <laughs> I had no idea what that mess was until I met you, but I'm like a bed. You got a bed. Sleeping a bed. station is just a fancy way of saying having many different beds that you have where people can sleep. But um, you know, in, in in some cases, having you know, maximizing the space that you have, or not maximizing. Let me rephrase. Um, considering how many sleeping stations you can put in a property, you know, maybe you can put instead of putting one full bed maybe you put a full over full bunk bed so now you mm-hmm. got twice as many people that can fit in that one room so it gives more flexibility and options when people travel to your place so that's so cool i never even thought about putting a bunk bed clarence once again put a bunk bed in, in, a, in a bedroom two kids can yeah. sleep in there as opposed to you know you get two grown kids it's like right. a 15 and a 17 year old as opposed to one person per room. I and mean, that's just genius. That was genius. Yeah, I, I actually got a, a testimonial from one of our recent guests. Mm-hmm. We had a property in Chesapeake, Virginia. I have in one room, we have a tri level bunk bed. It's a twin over, full over queen. And she was like, oh man, they just, my kids loved it because they were able to have their own bed by themselves in the room. That's big. Whenever I go to Great Wolf Lodge, I like yeah. to have the kids like like look, so they don't they're not kids love know, bunk beds. Yeah. Well, what happens when you got two kids in a bed? I don't know if you know. Tell me. Right, leave me alone. Uh, no, 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 don't touch me. Don't touch, move me. I, I, take the covers. It is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. I'm like, okay, so if I got a bunk bed, I know there won't be only thing we have to argue about is who's on top and who's on the bottom. I can deal with mm-hmm. that. But whenever I go to Great Wolf Lodge, right. if they have the same bed, they're always arguing. So I'm like, give me the room with the bunk bed. Boom. They got their own bed. We got to worry about it. So that's just a, that's a, that's an upsell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, Absolute, this is absolutely. me taking action. Hey, what's up, my friend? I forget the guy's name. I know I was supposed to do something with him. Hey, clients, what needs to be in a house in order for people to stay longer? That's a good question, brother. Hmm. Is it Samian? One of the things is if someone's going to stay longer, they probably want one of the things right off the gate is they're probably going to want upgraded kitchen kitchen equipment, cooking things to cook if they're going to stay there longer. So mm-hmm. if someone is there just one day, they might not require the same level of cooking utensils as someone mm-hmm. that's going to stay three months. Uh, I got so that So the kitchen stuff needs to be on point. Yeah, so that's that's one example right there. Um, gotcha. And in turn, and I did see a comment, and I'll kind of touch on this in terms of you know what we'll be covering over the eight weeks. Of course, there will be Is that some right here? things I will. Yeah. yeah. Um, will the weekly calls be training topics where certain STR topics will be covered? We'll have some things that we are going to bring up each week, but we want you to bring your questions. We want you to bring. You know, as we go through this, then hopefully, you know, you're going out and you're analyzing properties. We want it to be open form. Go ahead and ask us. Tell us, hey, I need help with this deal I'm trying to put together. We're here yeah. to help you during this eight weeks. 
But yeah, don't wait, man. Yeah. Do not. I'm telling y'all, done is better than perfect. Done. The shit is done, right? I'm mm-hmm. telling y'all, just fall. I'm not. I, I don't want to be everybody's leader, you know. But I'm like, if you just look at what we did, I let we 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 rented out this property with zero furniture in it, y'all. Don't wait. Just get it done. Get it done, and then try to make it perfect. All right. Just try to do. Start with what you have. If you have a phone, you can call landlords. Clarence and I are working on scripts to talk to the landlords, so you can call them up. You don't have to be perfect to talk to these landlords, y'all. Just start with what you have. If you ha- if you have a command of the, I'm, I'm like I'm like, dude. If you have command of the English language, you are far ahead of a lot of people. I promise you. Just because you know how to use the words right, right? Okay, so don't think. Oh, I'm here. I don't have anything. Use what you have. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yes, B Mac, we're gonna every week we have a get, we're gonna have a different topic, and that's gonna follow the short term rental training module, which you're gonna get included as soon as you get started. Right, and as soon as you invest in the training in the video description below, you're gonna be taken right to the short term rental training. Four hours. You're gonna go through those twelve modules, and then every week. Clarence and I will have something we'll be touching on that to help you get your business rock and roll. Uh, fold out. This is me taking action. Wants to know about fold out beanbag mattresses. I remember yeah. the joints back in the day. Yeah. I mean, I don't have any of the, uh, the beanbags in any of my properties, but listen, I wouldn't say not to have it in there. Again, this, this business is creative enough creative. that, you know, you stage Nothing. it right. It looks, if it looks inviting, you got great pictures, put it in there. Mm-hmm. I agree. If bro. you would appreciate it, I, I'm sure someone else would appreciate it. That's that old venture, that old uh, vintage, vintage feel. They always had those beanbags growing yeah. up. Clarence has this little secret he does, man, with these video games. So I'm like, y'all, the man has some tricks. I'm telling y'all, you want to be around. When I show up to his, matter of fact, when he first staged in one of my joints, I'm like, man, I get to go in here and play Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, <laughs> make me. Feel like I'm back in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. So round up, get signed up. The link is in the video description below for the short-term rental mastermind. Eight weeks of training. You're going to come meet up, hang out with Clarence and I every week to do weekly strategy sessions, bus tour, dinner, catered. Come hang out with us for some hours. Be around people. My career didn't take off until I surrounded myself with the right people, y'all. Dana wants to know: Do you do us do any of us know any, any successful short-term rental investors in St. Louis area? Hmm. I'm part of a network of other hosts, so if you're in a course and you need me to make some introductions out, I'll try to make those introductions. Find those folks for you. Yeah, you can do that, Dana. Also, if you're not yet a member of Bigger Pockets, that's the Facebook slash Instagram for real estate investors. Whenever I have a question, I just go there and type in. They have a search bar, too. You can type in any question. St. Louis Airbnb, St. Louis short-term rentals. Um, that's where we all hang out. and It's, it's, it's got a feed, and it, all the stuff keeps popping up just like Facebook. So, Jackie, can we elaborate? Uh, Jackie, what do you want us to elaborate on, my friend? So Clarence, look, I've had you for 40 minutes. Any questions round up? Get them in the chat there for Clarence. The man is a walking dictionary wealth of knowledge whenever I've got a question. Once again, I do not have all the answers for air, for short-term rentals. I promise you, I have men that I can pick the phone up and call them. Oh, yeah, and all you do is this. Boom. I don't need to know all the answers. I just don't. Surround myself with the right people. Clarence, anything you want to add? Then we'll get up out of here, my brother. Oh, just waiting if, if there's some other questions. Love to answer a couple other questions before we get out. But um, yeah, the questions put them in roundup. We're opening up the short-term rental map. Only one of its kind. I don't know of another one. Well, we're gonna actually work with you to set your stuff up. Staging, you get all the training, access to the gurus one-on-one, and the super early bird special. Will end tonight. Y'all already know how I get down, right? I enjoy action takers. Any questions, put them in the chat. If not, we'll get out of here, Clarence. Yeah, and for everybody that is going to be coming on to the training, uh, what I would like everyone to do, think about this. Think about what's your goal in terms of 
over the next 12 to 24 months, how many properties do you want to acquire? So, hey, if you want to say, hey, I want to get one property a year, great. You want to say, I want to get two properties a year, great. Just think about that. And then when we actually start the training, um, I would like you to share that with us so so we can kind of know how to tell our, our guidance towards you. Yeah, I think you, uh, what I've learned is how to work backwards, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So if you look at what the uh, the end in mind, you look at the end, then you can say, okay, this is how many leads we need to do. This is how many landlords we need to talk to. This is how many, how much money we're going to need to stage them, right? Because it's going to take some money or credit to stage that stuff. So, yep. Oh, yeah, Sawan. That's right. Yeah, what up, Sawan? All right, Roundup. I'm going to show y'all. I just opened it up. Let me Good Lord. I just, I just uh -oh. want to touch it. I just want to touch it. Is that thing heavy? Mm. <laughs> uh, not really. It's not really heavy, man. But Okay, okay. It's kind of got... It is metal, though. So it's got the face is metal, but the back is kind of like... Okay. Velvet man, that looks type feel. really nice. Look at this, y'all. I can't... This is so freaking crazy, man. It is just yeah, amazing. Like platinum. Well, the platinum one is like 10 million. So they got a they got a okay. silver, gold, and a diamond. Okay, okay. So this is the silver joint, y'all. We're gonna put this up eventually, but round up. Thank you. Clarence, thank you for working with me, brother. Yes, sir. Man, that's an honor. It's so cool, man. I could I just can't believe we get to live this life. We get to live it, Clarence. You know, we live yep. this life. We do this every day. You know, I, I, I think you and I, when we do it, we kind of take it for granted. It's not like when, even when mm. I call you, you're like, "Man, I'm working, man. What you got?" For <laughs> you don't even think. Well, I don't know. Let me ask you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just like when I call you, like, man, I, I, I got to do this, this, this. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm like, do you realize how much of an honor it is to be able to? Put this stuff into play because a lot of people try right. and don't even be able they they don't make it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes I don't even take the time to really reflect on it like that because I'm just I know. Hey, all right, got this one up and running. Next. Got this one up and running. Next. <laughs> I think you are. Who is this? Somebody says Shannon. You know what? I'm gonna say I'm turning my short long-term rentals into short-term rentals. Well, I would too. Yeah, and, and here's the thing for everybody who already has existing long-term tenants. Oh, if you Lord. have great tenants, I'm not a hey, keep great tenants. But if you have That's some true. shaky tenants, now you got a little bit more, you know, cojones behind you. Like I'm waiting for you to mess up so I can <laughs> so I can tell you get out. I know no I dumb. shouldn't be saying anything like that. But no, no, if you got great, if you got great tenants, keep your great tenants. Shannon, you are something. You're something. Eric Lewis says short term rentals are the play. You're right, bro. Yeah. yeah. I I did one for two years and then I met Clarence. I set my other one up back in like 2007. No, 18, 92. I don't know, man. I just think I wasn't around the right people. Then I saw Clarence doing it. You know what's weird? I learned the other day. Somebody told me, Chris, what you're looking for is looking for you. Right. Mm. So when he told me that, I'm like, you know what, dude, that is so deep because what, right. you know, it's almost like I need to find this, 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 this. But you had to put effort into looking and turning yourself into a person that will attract that stuff. Right. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. I definitely resonate with that. You know, yeah. if you want to if you want to be around rock stars, you need to be a rock star. First. Oh, you know, you know, it's like, yeah, somebody would know somebody called me today anyway. Yeah. All right, Roundup. Listen, the short-term rental master, short-term rental mastermind. It starts in a week and a half. An early bird, super early bird registration will end today. Right, the price is going to go up. Uh, want action takers? You're going to get the full short-term rental training. You get the VIP dinner that night on April, uh, on May, whatever the day is. It's in there. Bus tour the following day in May. Okay. Weekly strategy sessions to help you with that. All the clinics documents, lease, is property analyzer, staging, spreadsheet. There's another document you sent over last week, Clarence. What was that one? It was probably the 24-month scale example. That's right. 
Tell them about that real quick, then we'll get out of here. Oh, yeah. It's just basically um, over a 24-month period, uh, an assumption how you can go from one property. If you reinvest all of your profits, you can go from one property to about 24 properties in the course of two years. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. The Clarence and I were teamed up. We're doing this stuff. And it's just an honor to be able to work with you, my friend. I want to thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure is mine. So B Mac wants to know how we finding leads. That's a good one right there. You gotta you gotta be creative, Clarence. Yeah, yeah, creative. I mean, of course, you know, you can go on the internet. There's Facebook groups. There's Zillow. There's, you know, building referral partners. It's <coughs> it's all sorts of ways. But you know, we can talk about specific strategies. You don't need to do all of them. Just pick a couple that mm -hmm. floats your boat. It takes time <laughs> and work that. You gotta work. You gotta work it. And uh, B Mac, we had a meeting today with a virtual assistant company where we're going to bring on people that can actually just make the calls. What I love about this strategy, you're not calling a property owner trying to buy their property at a discount. We don't even live in that world in this strategy here. You're trying to offer them above market rents. We were talking to the owner of the virtual assistant company today, trying to scale it to where we can just give the VAs the script. They make the calls and then we just come in and close the deal. I think that's going to be cool. Awesome. All right, divine thing. Okay, Mother Clarence, round up, get signed up, get your early. You know how it is. Early bird register, super early bird registration ends tonight. And after that, we'll still have an opportunity to join us. But this thing starts second week of April. I want to get you rocking and rolling. Take care, round up. All right, Clarence, I'll see you soon. Round up, homies. Oh. You still gotta subscribe and just because I got a hundred thousand. I can't believe this just because I got a hundred thousand subscribers doesn't now mean I still get 500. Yeah, I didn't know the <laughs> next plaque is a million. Oh, oh, okay. So they just skipped 500. You gotta yeah, go 500. To you know what? Maybe they didn't. I don't know. I didn't look. Maybe it is 500. I don't know. Okay, like this content, share with anybody else that you think needs to understand how to invest in real estate, but they may not want to actually buy a property. This is passive income. Clarence is CPA going to help us figure out how to set up our entities and all that stuff inside the short-term rental mastermind. You get signed up in the video description below. Much love to you and your family roundup. I'll see you at the beginning of the mastermind. And if you're in Dubai, I'll be in Dubai on Friday. Uh, if anybody's out there, please send me a direct message. I would love to see real estate out there and see what you guys have to offer regarding uh, uh, entrepreneurship. Peace roundup.